Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, I'll be talking about the file I.O. That's the part 2 of my session. I hope so you have already seen my file I.O. part 1 session. In which I've explained what is the need of file I.O. operations in C++, how to do the basic reading and writing operations in C++. In today's session, I'll be concentrating on how to open the files using the methods and constructors. In the previous part, I've already shown how to open the file in reading and writing mode, both using the constructors. Today, I'll be concentrating about how to open the method class, um, I mean the files using the method. The third part, I'll be explaining you how to find the end of the file. That is, while we are reading the files, there are two major ways we can get to the end of the files. I'll be talking about that. Then I'll be talking about the fstream class. As in my part 1, I have explained that three major classes are available, OFStream, IFStream and FStream. In this section, I will be talking about FStream class also and what are the different modes available. And finally, how to open or how to operate read and write operations using an example. So let's start it up. First and foremost comes is like how to open the files. To open any files, you have major two options that is constructor and a method. It may be in OF stream or IF stream, it remains same. So you create an object and you pass the file name. In this scenario, what happens is you are using the concept of constructor. That means OF stream creates an object and it says I want to work with 1.txt. The second option is that OF stream F out. You don't specify anything, you simply leave it as blank and use the method F out dot open 1.txt. The both are same. The only difference is in the first case we are using the constructor concept and the second case we are using the open method concept. The same functionality is available with ifstream and fstream class also. So I'm not going to show those things. I hope so you understand it. The second comes how to get to the end of the files. For getting end of the files we have two major options. One is you create fin. which I hope so is having some values and you can say while fin. In this scenario it will read the file till it reaches to the end of the files. And second methodology is you can use the concept of fin.uf method. uf method will return a not equal to value, not equal to zero value until it receive it I mean as and when it reaches to the end of the file. So if it is not end of the file, it will return a zero value. As and when it reaches to the end of the file, it will return a non-equal to or a not equal to zero value. So by tracing if that is it not equal to zero, we can identify it whether we have reached to the end of the files. So there are two major ways of finding the end of the file. That is while fin and second is uf methods. In the third session of my file I.O., I'll be explaining you how to get to the size of the objects and how to find the total number of objects stored in the files and all those things. That is the third functionality how we can get into the end of the files. But in today's session, I'll be talking about these two things only. Okay, I'll be showing you an example where I will be explaining how to get to the end of the file in two major ways also. Now comes the fstream class. As in my session 1, I have already explained that OFstream is a class dedicatedly being created for writing purpose. Similarly, ifstream is a class that is dedicatedly being created for reading purpose. So we have an fstream class which is being created for reading and writing both. So if you want to simultaneously read and write both operations on some particular file, then in that scenario, you have to create an object of fstream class. Now the, what the problem comes is like till now we have not talked about the modes. We always specify only the file name. That is reason is because we are creating object of OFStream and IFStream. The OFStream and IFStream both has a functionality that if you don't create or if you don't specify the mode, I should be specific then if you don't specify the mode of OFStream, the default mode is the writing mode that is iOS scope resolution out. And the case of IF stream, if you don't specify the mode, the default mode is iOS scope resolution in. Okay, so there are different types of modes available, out of which the major ones which we require is in, out, ABP, and ATE. Okay, in is specifically designed for reading, out is specifically designed for writing, AWP is for append, and ATE is for that is to even append 
plus you want to update some content in between that means to write in between of the class data in append what happens you can write the data but you can only write at the end of the file whereas ate you can write the data okay but in between also you can write the data that means if you have if you want to write or you want to overwrite some data then using at it is possible using app is it is not possible okay yes there are different types of other than this is available that is trunk binary and all those things but the major ones are these and then comes the question how to specify these modes so you create the object of it is same for f stream and if stream so i'm just doing for f stream the reason for f stream is the that is of stream and if stream both have default f stream does not have any default mode so if you create an object of f stream it is compulsory for you to give the modes that is only thing you have to remember so how to give it in this way you can give and if you want to combine multiple modes then you can use the sign pipe and you can do this way okay so here what i have done is i have created an object of f stream class i'm saying i want to read and write both so i've specified the mode in and out i hope so you have understood it and you know that you have understood the difference between append and ate mode now comes the example and let's see how to do all these things with the example for this i have created a program in which first i have created an object of of stream i have opened the file one.txt now in this case you can see i have used the open method instead of using constructor now i have don't i have don't i have didn't specified any modes so you can say default is the out mode is been used so i'm saying you, i just written five times f out please write these lines of data it will write all these data into the file once the data is been written once the task is over so i'm closing the file okay so what i have done is f out dot close that means the file and the object both are being released now comes the reading purpose i want to read all the data one option is if i can do fin five times the second option is i'm saying if stream one dot txt so here i have used the concept of constructor again so if stream opens the file but i don't know how many data are there so i'm calling while fin now it will go to a loop till it in it reaches to the end of the file now reading purpose it's saying fin dot get line get line is one of the methods available in if stream with the help of which we can read complete line from a file but it takes two arguments first one is where you want to store the value or whatever whatever i have read it so i'll say ariel is the where i want to store it what is the max size you want to have it that is 20 that is my array size so it will start reading the first line stores into rel as in when it comes to an end it will stop or else it reaches to 20 once it is done i'm just printing the value okay i hope so once the complete the loop i'm free with the file or you can say with the file so i just close the file also the second option to reading is that i'm again opening the file now I'm instead of saying while fi and I'm telling while one. So this is an infinite loop. This loop has to continue till it fi is not end of the file not equal to zero. Most of the cases it returns zero. Only once it reaches to the end of file, it returns a non-zero value. So I'm checking when it is giving me a value non or I can say a non-zero value. As in when I receive a non-zero value, I'm simply breaking it. And I've used the same concept of get line method here. The third, to show you the modes, what I've done, I've created an F stream class, an object. I've specified the file name and the mode. Here, simply I want to read it. So I've specified IOS scope resolution in, and internal code is same. Just to want to show you how to create an object of F stream and how to specify the modes in C plus plus file. So let's now try and compile this program. Compilation is done. So writing. So first, it has read all the values, five lines. Second time it has read it and the third time using fstream also it has done it. I hope so I have cleared the doubts of different modes how to get to the end of the files the two major ways using an example. If you have any queries you can write a comment to this video and all codes related to this video will be found at my blog winothebest.wordpress.com Please don't forget to subscribe my videos. Thank you and have a nice day.